Recently, I was asked if I could do a review on the Ring Alarm Outdoor Contact Sensor. So today we'll be installing the Ring Alarm Outdoor Contact Sensor into my SmartThings app. I'm planning to mount this sensor in our utility shed, which is situated in our backyard. I'll also introduce you to the AOTEC range extender and demonstrate how it can increase your Z-Wave signal by 250%. So checking the specs for the Ring Alarm Contact Sensor, it is weather resistant with an IP66 rating. The IP66 rating confirms that it is waterproof against host directed water and also from falling drops of rain or snow. It has an operating temperature range of negative four degrees to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. It is connected via Z-Wave technology and it's reported to have a 250 foot line of sight range. So what's in the box? When you open the box, you'll be surprised by the size of the sensor. The sensor's hefty size is attributed to the fact that it is powered by two AA alkaline batteries. The sensor comes with adhesive backed mounting plates, screws, and screw anchors. The two required alkaline batteries are also provided by Ring. According to Ring, the batteries can power the sensor for up to five years. You can separate the sensor from its mounting brackets by sliding the sensor to the side. On the back of the main sensor, you'll find a reset hole and an orange setup button. You'll need to remove the rear cover in order to access the battery compartment. The battery compartment is open by pushing on the two spring clips. Within the battery compartment, you'll find the two AA batteries. You'll also see a weather sealing gasket on the battery compartment cover. This is instrumental in keeping moisture out of the device. The magnet side of the sensor can also be separated from the mount by sliding it to the side. You can attach the provided mounts to a wooden surface for a more secure install. To pair the sensor, you'll select the option to scan the QR code. Then you'll pull the plastic battery isolator tab and the device will begin flashing three times slowly, then it'll pause, then it'll flash three times again. And it'll do this in a continuous cycle. To start pairing, just press the orange button for five to 10 seconds and release it. The sensor's green light will start flashing rapidly to begin pairing. After a couple of seconds, the app will notify you that setup is successful. This sensor pairs with SmartThings as a generic Z-Wave device. So once the sensor is connected, you'll need to log in to your SmartThings account at account.smartthings.com and manually set it within the My Devices list. You must rename the sensor as a Z-Wave Plus door window sensor. Before installing your sensor, you'll want to test it to ensure that you have a good signal. Ring Alarm claims that you can test connectivity by pressing the orange setup button. They state that a green light while pressing the button indicates a proper signal. This apparently only works with Ring's hub because I was not able to replicate the test for my SmartThings hub. As for mounting options, the sensor is provided with double-sided mounting tape, which can be used to mount the sensor on a smooth surface that is not subject to the elements. You can also use the provided screws to mount the device on plastic or wood surfaces. As a third option, you may use the slits provided on the mounting brackets to secure the sensor on a metal surface such as a metal gate using metal or plastic straps. The strap mount gives you the ability to install the sensor without the need to drill holes. As stated previously, my intent was to install this contact sensor on my utility shed doors. My hub is in my basement in the north side of my home. The center of my shed doors is exactly 73 feet from the southwest corner of my home. Since the Z-Wave signal must go through several walls, I suspected that I may need a Z-Wave range extender. I therefore decided to purchase the AOTEC Range Extender 7. The AOTEC Range Extender is compatible with Z-Wave and Z-Wave Plus and is reported to provide up to 250% further wireless range. When testing the range of the Ring Contact Sensor, absent the use of a Z-Wave range extender, I found that I could only get a reliable connection for up to 14 feet from the southwest corner of my home. Using the AOTEC range extender, I was able to extend my signal up to 49 feet. Unfortunately, however, this range falls 20 feet short of the doors of my utility shed. As a result, I was unable to use the ring contact sensor in this particular application. 
So what are the key takeaways from this venture? The Ring Alarm Outdoor sensor can be paired with the SmartThings hub. However, to be fully compatible with SmartThings, the sensor's device handler must be changed in your SmartThings account to a Z-Wave Plus window door sensor. The operational distance of the contact sensor can be enhanced by the use of the AOTech range extender. In my particular situation, I was able to extend my operational range by 250%. This increase in range confirms the performance specifications reported by AOTech. Although you may get different results based on the location of your hub and the strength of your Z-Wave network, I surmise that if you need to monitor an outside property or pool gate, provided the gate is within 49 feet of your house, you should have a successful installation, provided you use the AOTech Range Extender 7 to enhance your Z-Wave signal. I trust you found today's episode helpful. I appreciate your time and I hope I made good use of it. Until next time, keep automating and God bless.